excited. We are casting the Legend of Zelda movie. So this was a tough one to cast. I gotta say, I really resisted the urge to cast Vin Diesel. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to Super Kit and Krista 64. Look at this beautiful scenic location. We're on here. location. You know where? On a shoot for the Zelda movie, obviously. Yeah. Um, listen, the Mario <laughs> listen. movie is happening. It's happening hey, soon. Listen. So we decided we are casting the Legend of Zelda movie. We also each wrote a synopsis yes. of what, how we would approach this the movie. Legend of Zelda yep. movie and and we will each be doing a table read for an excerpt that we have both written. Yeah. So we have two completely different visions for this movie. Exactly. That we will be revealing two to each other. completely different. And to you. Glorious visions for this movie. Yeah, it's very exciting. But before we get into that. Yes. This, vi this episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. Thank you, BetterHelp. Thank you so much. Um, you know, I think we talk about this a lot, especially when we're at Nintendo where when you have so much stuff coming at you, when you have 30 hot emails overnight from Japan, it is really tough to focus. It's really tough to like pick out, you know, what you need to spend your time yes. on, what's important, what maybe is not so important. Um, and this is some of the solutions that you can get if you work with a better help therapist. Yes. And we've had some really good experiences already with our um, therapist that we found through BetterHelp. And um, I have had, I think, three sessions now with mine, and it's been going really well. I actually did one of them overseas. Oh, wow. And we just, again, because it's all online, right? right? All you have to do is find a time that works for both of you. And it was really great. I had a little bit of travel anxiety, um, just with like all the international travel and stuff. And mm -hmm. it was nice to you know, actually talk to somebody about that. Yeah, exactly. Um, like you said, we've both been using it. Getting matched up is very easy and very effective mm -hmm. to find somebody who is, you know, yeah. able to talk about the topics that you want to cover. And um, yeah, it's very convenient because you can do it, you know, video, you can do it on phone, you can even do it just through text. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Um, so yeah, thank you so much again to BetterHelp for sponsoring this uh, video. When you want to be a better problem solver, therapy can help you get there. Visit betterhelp.com slash super64 today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash super64. We'll put the link below right here and also in the description box. Right. All right. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, we are starting with our casting. Yes. Um, would yes. you like to go first? Sure. Please. So we had a list of, of characters that were sort of like mainstay Musts. must from yeah. the Zelda universe. I will say that there is a few characters that didn't work for me, so I just removed them. Oh, interesting. And um, Link. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> and that person is yeah. Zelda. <laughs> no, just kidding. And I, but I did replace them with things that are essential to my story. So well, I'm just going to put okay. that caveat right that's, out there. That's interesting. I've got a one and only pick for Link. I had a really hard time casting right. Link, honestly. Really? So I'm curious. My Link, um, I picked Ansel Elgort. Okay. I don't know if that's the correct pronunciation of his name. I'm so sorry if I butchered that. But he, uh, again, I have been talking about the show for literally like the last month, which is Tokyo Vice. Yeah. If you have not watched Tokyo Vice, please, hmm. I beg of you. If you have watched Tokyo Vice, tell me in the comments because I need someone to talk to. Um, <laughs> he's also in like some other sort of like teeny kind of movies like that um, movie, The Fault in Our Stars, which mm -hmm. I did not watch. Um, but uh, he, you know, I feel like Link needs to have this like innocence almost yes. and sort of purity to him and this like underlining quality of like I need to do the right thing that is the link that I'm mm -hmm. that I would like to see yeah. in a movie so um so yeah that's why that's why I cast him okay interesting yeah can I do my link now yes please uh my link is Finn Wolfhard oh of, from Stranger of Things Stranger Things um, I think he's got the look down. Okay. He's got that kind of youthful sense to him. You know, who knows? Yeah. This, this is going to become a big blockbuster franchise. Cast him while they're young. Yeah, and he's already has um, some acting chops. Right. I think he has, again, the look of innocence, but also some bravery within him, some toughness. 
um, just below the surface. Yeah. And um, I think he's going to look fantastic in the Link outfit. Yeah, I could see it. Yeah. I could definitely see so it. So I nailed it. All right. Uh, should we do Zelda next? Uh, yes, okay. we shall. So my Zelda, I cast um, so Sorcy Ronin. Mm. Um, Came up in my research. Yeah. Not who I chose, though. Good. Yeah. Um, I feel like, again, she... I also, you know, when you cast Zelda and Link, you have to match the two actors. Indeed. Um, in a way where you feel like maybe they'll have some good on-screen chemistry yeah. or yeah. something. And I feel like those two have this, like, very... Almost like calm yeah. vibe about them. Um, I watched her in Lady Bird, which was a great oh, yeah. movie, and she has just this, she has a bit of that like cool girl factor that I think Zelda does have. We don't see it too much in the games, but I I would like that to be like brought yeah. out in like a movie, like Zelda's yeah. sort of cool factor. Well, I'm glad again that we did not have a copycat. Okay. Uh, mine. I was just going through, you know, names, faces, and I had to stop at one. I was like, this actress is such a, a dead ringer <laughs> Just for Breath of the Wild Zelda. Oh. And it's Florence Pugh. Oh, she came up in line too. Yes. Black Widow. Or, right, yeah. ex of course, also from Black Widow. Like, it just, you know, visually, and that's kind of the Zelda that I'm going here for, the very active, involved, mm -hmm. um, you know. More like, um, she's like more like athletic and right. stuff. You know, yeah. you know, she might be, you know, she's wearing pants and not the big, like, gown. Yes, exactly. yes, so she's she going to be the, the yoga pants on. Right, right, she's going to be rolling up her sleeves and, and getting involved. I can see her braid her hair, like, too. She oh has, my gosh, she's I best hair. I, I was going to say, I think her best quality is her hair. Yeah, her hair in Black Widow with all the complicated braids Incredible. they did for her. Um, Imagine that for Zelda, that would be so right, amazing. Right, right. And I, so I have her, She. I wanted somebody who was a, a little bit older than my Link. Oh. I think that's kind of a dynamic that I wanted to have. I see. Um, again, because, you know, she's the princess, she is the, fi the official figure of authority, mm -hmm. and I think that's going to play into their relationship. I think we have some, um, like, differences in character, but I do have Impa on my list. I do too. Should we go there yeah. next? Okay, for Impa, I cast Michelle Yell. Okay, from great. The yeah. Her most recent That's a great form choice. is Everything, Everywhere, All at Which Once. Which you love. Which I, I actually love her in general. I think yeah. she's an amazing actress, right. but this movie is probably in my top three mm -hmm. best movies of all time. Um, yeah, Impa needs to be action-oriented also, Absolutely. but have a, a bit of wisdom to yeah. her, and also needs to be kind of nurturing towards Zelda. Right. So I feel like she really embodies that like sort of tough mom yeah. <laughs> um, character, and uh, I think she'd be perfect for that. And one. this this requires a lot of physicality as well, which obviously she got that down. She got that down. Yeah. Oh yeah. Not a worry. Right. Uh, I cast for Impa Charlie's Theron. Oh. Yes. Uh, never hurts to have an uh, Academy Award winner. She's amazing actress. I was going to say. I love her movies. Um, oh, good choice. Great actor. Also, a lot of physicality. Mm -hmm. um, you know, she could do the stunts. She, she could do her own stunts. Right. Um, <laughs> she is a good deal older than Florence Pugh, so that, yeah. that kind of sense that of being an older protector mm -hmm. um, is in place. I love that. Um, I'm very excited about this casting for me. For you, uh, hopefully, for you. hopefully we have the budget for this. Um, Ooh, that's gonna be. I mean, Nintendo's picking up the bill, so I think that's it'll, right. be, it'll that's be fine. That's gonna that's gonna cost a pretty penny, but it's okay. Yeah. All right. Okay, you might have a Ganon on yours, yeah. I absolutely. Do. I do not. So you go ahead. Interesting. Yes. So this was a tough one to cast. I gotta say, I really resisted the urge to cast Vin Diesel <laughs> as Ganon in like an orange corn roll wig. Well, again, you need somebody who is physically imposing. Yes, um, you need a and, big, you know, muscular. There, there are a lot of different versions of Ganon throughout these games that I think is interesting. Um, I I wanted somebody who had the physical, you know, very imposing physically, but also had like a bit of like cunning to them as well. Yeah. Which, unfortunately, that's where Vin Diesel didn't make it. Yeah, he's, he's got a little meathead qualities. <laughs> right, beginning. right. So somebody who could be, you know, like leading an attack on Hyrule. Um, somebody who could match, you know, Link and Zelda physically, but also mentally. Yeah. Um, so I went with Lawrence Fishburne. Oh, Lawrence Fishburne. Right, who, I'll be honest, at this point is getting up there in years. Yeah. But, hey, we've seen him, you know, do a lot of great things. That's true. That's um, a really good one. CG's doing amazing things. I think, <laughs> CG. I, I think you could just see him 
just owning a scene yeah. of just, you know, very softly saying these words, but being so powerful. I can imagine like a scene where, you know, um, Gannon does a lot of the, you see him from the back and he does a slow turn with a profile. Right. I can see Lawrence Fishburne right. totally He's an incredible actor, uh, incredible career. I think he brings a great deal of gravitas oh, to my film. You and the, him and Charlize Theron makes this an Oscar Look, one. Look, how many Oscars am I racking up already? <laughs> it's amazing. <Cinematography>. Okay. <laughs> best actor, best actress, leading, wow, leading. no Ganon for you. I'm very interested to okay, see where this Okay, but I goes. do have two um, villain characters that I'm casting. Oh, well, let's get through our, our, our standard set here before we get, did you have a Navi? I don't have a Navi. Oh. Okay. Do you have a I do have a Navi. Okay, go for it. So Navi is kind of comic relief in the, in my movie. Oh, you know, I do I, comic I do see this okay. being as most mostly serious a serious movie, but uh -huh. I mean, look, we've seen you know the formula for any like you know big blockbuster. It's got to have a couple moments of comedy. So some levity is required. This isn't the Navi movie, so you can be here here and there. That's I, a, that's a spinoff. It's okay. I cast uh, Mindy Kaling. Oh. Which. <laughs> well, me, she's let, definitely let, funny. Well, let me tell you why. Um, Navi is a little bit annoying. I actually find her to be a little bit annoying but too. In like, a sweet, in like a cute way. Right, right. Yeah. So I was like, this is, and she's certainly funny. Um, yeah. You know, just kind of shrink her down a little bit, buzzing like around. A little baby Mindy Kaling. <laughs> right, with little, right. Just like, little wings. <laughs> right. I mean, she could be, we got these things buzzing around us on set know, right now. Like it could be a little, like min, a little Mindy, <laughs> a little Navi. Hey, listen. Um, like, whatever. <laughs> right. So I do see that being kind of an important secondary character okay. for my film. Please Let me tell more. you about my villains because I can't wait. this will give away sort of the movie. Is this a spoiler for your movie? Like a little bit of the synopsis of the movie because I have two villain characters, yeah. which is Girahim and mm. Demise. Okay. Demise, CG, obviously. When you CG yeah. him, there's no okay. way we can do that. But the voice for him, oh, the voice. CG version of Demise, Josh Brolin, voice of mm. Thanos. Great. Could be very yeah. intimidating. I mean, you need a gruffness. Hopefully, a, hopefully Marvel will sign off on this. But okay. Yeah. All right. I think we can do it. Josh yeah. Brolin. Yeah. Great. Great. And then Gear him. I'm very excited about. Casting I can't wait to hear what this you did with character this. because Gear him is probably one of the most weirdest, most interesting characters in the Zelda universe. Yeah. But I cast Tom Hiddleston, who is Loki. <laughs> oh yes. As Gear him. Don't you? Wow. Can't you just see him do the tongue? Like, yeah. I really could see him. He's kind of like, he's got like that thin. Almost like That's creepy. Good. He can, he can again, pull that off. Again, Marvel's lawyers might have a word uh, with you. Uh, I had just one more here, which is uh, the King of Hyrule. Oh, yes. Yes. Which, uh, again, you want to talk about gravitas. It does turning not, out to be a, the night of the theater. You here. do not get more gravitas than this actor I'm about to mention here, which is uh, Anthony Hopkins. Oh. Sir Anthony Hopkins to you. Um, oh man! The way my story goes, oh, he's and I won't creepy though. and I won't spoil it. No, he can be very fatherly. Okay, okay. He's only going to be there in the beginning of the movie. Okay. So it's it's kind of a cameo. He might get best supporting actor when all the Oscars are handed out. Um, put a big beard on him. Yeah, he's a big beard. He he's quite old to be Florence Pugh's father. But yeah. Again, it's it's only a scene or two, so yeah, we're not yeah. worrying okay. about that. All right, I like I like that. But I can see it. Kingly, fatherly, very very yes. regal. So regal, my goodness. The great the great voice, yes. you know. I like that. Um, I have two more. Oh my gosh. Fi. Yes. Very important. Uh huh. Anna de Armas from Blade oh. Runner. She plays Joy, which she's very hot. We need a hot five. Hmm. We need a hot robot girl, and she can look do it. Look at me considering this. Okay. She, we need a hot robot girl to be fine. That is who she <laughs> is. Fi is a robot? Like, kind of like an animate, you know? Okay. Okay, and then my last one. Very important character oh. in, this, in the story. Groose. Ah, of course. <laughs> Groose. Did you cast me? No. Ow. John Boyega. Finn from Star Wars. Oh, as Bruce. that's good. That's a good one, right? That is good. Don't you think he'd be perfect? He is a great actor. Now, now couple him with my Link. You got these big, two big okay. personality yeah, sort yeah. of differences, and that could be really fun. Okay. To see play out. Um, I'm very curious about how you handle Link's uh, speaking or not speaking. I guess we'll find out. He'll be speaking. Uh, so are those are those all your? That's it. Wow. Uh, Look at this cast. Great job by both of us. I know. All-star cast. You know, the thing that's exciting about the idea of a Zelda movie is 
you could, if you made this a franchise, you could have the option to continue on, or you could recast the whole thing because right. it's like, well, it's a new story in the, the timeline. Story, it's a new, the it's a new link. The timeline makes it easy for Isn't you to do. Isn't that amazing? It. And you can even do like Child Link later exactly. on, and Child Zelda, right. like the the link link to the past I know. set. Come on, Nintendo. Right. We're really making this really easy. Um, for you. All right. Story synopsis. So story synopsis. Uh, I think I have a feeling where yours is going, but please. Yes. Indulge us. Obviously, this is going to be based off of the storyline of Skyward Sword, um, but I really want this to almost feel like, um, like the first few Harry Potter films, um, where like it really goes into the relationship of Bruce, Link, and Zelda as like three best friends at the um, academy yeah. that they're studying oh, the Skyloft. Oh, academy. oh, yes. People love a good academy come up story. It's academy yes. come up story. Okay. This could also we oh, could make like this. this a trilogy too, like yeah. easy to do, you know. But yeah, it's like. Skyward Sword Trilogy? You could do that. I mean, that's a little hobbity. It's kind of a hobbit move, but okay. But it could be cool. It could be cool. <laughs> we're already milking this, I see. Okay. We're milking the, we're milking the <laughs> franchise. So, you know, it's really going into character development of the three of them being best friends at the Academy. Wow. Obviously, as they grow up, there's going to be feelings that people catch, like Link is catching feelings hmm. for Zelda, and there's jealousy between okay. Bruce and Link. I, I really like that premise. Yeah. That's a great premise. And then, of course, all the events of Skyward Sword will be unraveling and yeah. there there are these kids that are just like they're like you know growing up doing normal kid stuff like sure. studying for exams and stuff but having to deal with this like ultimate evil yeah um and uh, of course okay. link and Bruce, their friendship is going to be the actual centerpiece of the movie not link and zelda and you'll have a great kind of school montage while the smash mouth song plays exactly right? awesome the fall semester will never be the same. <laughs> cue, the, cue the song. <laughs> We're not going to sing. Need Record scratch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. Can I do the honors for my own? Yes, turn? please. All right. Um, so this is actually not based on any single Zelda game. Oh, okay. I think you need an original story. Oh, wow. An original a, story. That's a little bit down the middle, because we're going to be drawing in a lot of people who don't know what Zelda is. Sure, this. yeah. Millions upon millions of people. So I'm take, kind of taking little bits and pieces from different Zelda games, but just really trying to establish what this world's about, what these characters are about. Mm -hmm. So I will read it to you. On a dark night, armed mercenaries infiltrate and attack Hyrule Castle. Oh. Nothing is known about the assailants, but they claim to represent a mysterious man known only as Ganon. Oh. Princess Zelda and Royal Guard Link manage to escape into the countryside as the castle is now held captive by Ganon. As they learn they share a generation's old secret, Zelda and Link must find a way to defeat Ganon and restore peace to Hyrule. What's wow! the generation Link secret? It might be in my table read scene. Oh! <laughs> so get excited. I've got you hooked now, I'm don't hyped. I? I got you hooked. I'm hyped. I like this. <laughs> oh, this is good. It is. This is very good. It's great. Okay. All right. Would you like to just go right into that? Yeah, are, let's are you, go right into the table read, and then, you, and then we can do my table read afterwards. Yes, okay. let's. All right, we're just gonna we're just gonna share this screen here. Who's who? Um, I'm Zelda. So I will. Yep. Here, here we go. I'll get us. I'll, here's our setup. Zelda and Link take shelter deep in the Lost Woods. They have just fled the assault on Hyrule Castle and eluded the mysterious forces which attacked them. Safe at last, they take a moment to regroup and assess their next move. Are you injured? You were very brave. Those men who stormed the castle, what do they want? Who is this man Ganon they claim to serve? <clears throat> Our home was just attacked in the middle of the night. Don't you have something to say? <sighs> You're a part of the Royal Guard. You took a vow of silence. Now, I'm, now I understand. If the two of us are to survive and find out what happened, we're going to need to communicate. As a princess of Hyrule, I free you from your vows. Speak! Uh, uh, uh. I am the princess. Do you not think that with do you not think it within my abilities? Wait, what is that? Are you bleeding? Princess, <gasps> do not worry. Here, this will stop the bleeding. What is this? It is nothing. Let us look for shelter. Do not try to distract me. Show me your hand. Princess, I. As your princess, I insist, show me. As you wish, your highness. These markings, I, I can't, how? Tell me right now, how did you get this? I have made you upset, I apologize. These markings on my hand have been growing more prominent since my 10th year. I don't know what it is or what they mean. This is why I keep it covered. It's nobody's problem but my own. 
Link, stop. She removes a glove from oh, her okay. hand. I was like, where am I? Her hand bears the same marking as Link's, the Triforce. Ooh. Whoa! Ooh. Did you just get goosebumps? I think I did, you did. I did, I did, I did. Oh my gosh! I like how you address the talking the, thing. The vow of silence. We got to get over that hump somehow. <laughs> Besides Chris it's, Pratt busting in. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. Yeah, we're not doing that. Um, I like that. That's really good. Okay, so they have to figure out why they both have. And why do they both have yeah. the Tribe Force? They and do. how do they get back into the castle? How do they get back into the castle? Who's Ganon? It's a lot of questions. Who the heck is that? All right. All right. Here is my scene again. We're at the again, scene. You might, you might just want to recast me for every part. <laughs> um, Please. I will read this to you. Final exams are taking place at the Knights Academy. The pressure is on for Link, Groose, and Zelda. Link, Groose, and Zelda are close friends, but there have been recently jealousy between Groose and Link. Link has gotten the top, top marks on his exams, and Zelda have, has been paying more attention to him. The scene opens up where Groose catches a glimpse of Link and Zelda laughing and flirting in the school's courtyard. He rushes past them in a huff, bumping hard into Link on the way. You can be Link, and I will be Groose okay. and Zelda. Oh. Okay? Hey, Al, what was that, Groose? <sighs> Wait up! What's going on with you? And then Groose ignores Link and rushes towards the dorms. He's been like, this is Zelda. He's been like this all week. It's probably the pressure of the exams. Cut him some slack. I'm off to the library to drop off a few study guides. See you at dinner? Yeah, sure. I'll go try and talk to him. See you later. And then the next scene is Link and Groose in their dorm room together. Groose is sitting very sulkily at the window as Link walks in. How's the flight test? I'm sure you did fine. Whatever. I'll never be as good of a flyer as you, so why bother? Look, I don't know what your problem is, but I really don't want to end the school year on bad terms. So can you just knock it off already and come with me and Zelda to dinner? Sometimes I'm just tired of always being second place to you, you know? Being best friends with you is really hard sometimes. Well, that's not my fault. I'm not trying to make it hard, you're making it hard. Whatever, I knew you wouldn't understand. Fine, whatever, be that way. I'll be at dinner with Zelda. Come join us if you decided to stop being crazy. And then Link walks out of the dorm room and slams the door. Yeah, the high school hijinks and drama. I th it sounds like Link's gonna get stuffed into a locker <laughs> soon. <laughs> wow. Okay, well Amazing. there you go. That is our casting and synopsis and table read. Two very different takes yeah. on this. So interesting yeah. how those turned out. All right. Well, what do you guys think of what, how we did the casting? What, do you agree? How, what, what would your perfect um, Zelda movie look like? Tell us in the comments. We'd wow. love to hear your thoughts. And if you go see any of these movies, let us know. All right. We're going to wrap it up for today, and we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.